so we are absolutely nowhere. I love this place, love coming here. It's such a beautiful, quiet, nice location. And uh, I can't believe they wanna ruin that. They wanna camp it out, put lights here, a bathroom. Well, I wouldn't mind the bathroom, but they wanna put lights, big giant tent, so people could come here, pay money, so they could just sleep outdoors, and I just don't get it. Or, this is such a nice dark location and they wanna take money for people to sleep here and but be comfortable with lights that, that kind of beats the purpose I just don't get it I don't understand why would they do that anyway we're here we have a 20 inch telescope Fuck yeah. gonna try to get a couple hours of data and uh, hope for the best and uh, I'll see you at night maybe I think we'll be able to see stuff Parks Reserves Association wants to turn it into a lit campsite and we cannot let that happen. This is our only dark sky location in the country. We cannot go anywhere else. And this is the darkest place and it's only Bordel Class 3. It's not even a 1 or a 2. The only other place we have is a Bordel 5, which is okay I guess, but come on, Bordel 3 is so much better, so much better. So I want to explain why this is the only place we could go. As you can see, the rest of the country is quite light polluted. The only place I can go to in the center of the country is right around here. This place. That's a Bordel 5, which is okay, but we like going here, which is Bordel 3. Now, you might ask yourself, it's a tiny place right here. What about all the rest of the places around this place well you need to realize that you have to have a road to get there right because most of the area around here is unreachable with any vehicle um, well maybe except an a, a helicopter but a car is impossible to get to most of these places there's only one road stretching through here right just this one road there's another place here we could go to, but uh, there's a bit more lights around it and you can definitely see them and it's a bit worse in terms of light pollution, so we like to get to this area here. Uh, the only thing that bothers us is this big bulb, but it's far enough away to not bother us, really. Since then, the news story went live and it actually created a lot of buzz. Uh, we were really surprised to see so many likes, so many views. It actually got even more on Facebook. And uh, this was surprising and we really hope this will push forward our cause to save this place from getting uh, light polluted and more buildings and just keep it dark. By the way, if you're not working with Nina, I don't know what you're doing. Such a good software. Philip, you can see everything. Your history, HFR ratings, guiding over here. That's frame and focus. Camera settings, or that the focuser settings. You can do the camera here. Can 
sick, bro. Sick, bro. Right, so because we finished with the shoot, everybody's leaving. We have quite a bit less cars here. Everybody's going. But I'm still going strong. Still going strong. I'm sure you guys what I'm up to. That's a single three minute sub. Unbelievable. Check this out. Look at that. Single sub. Insanity. And the fun is over. I'm gonna leave you guys with the image I got from that night. I captured one hour of the Horsehead Nebula in color with the ASI 2600 and I combined it with uh, some older HA data I took with uh, 1600 and, and combined it in a way that the HA was the luminance layer. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you want to see more. Hit that notification bell as well to be notified on when I'm posting my next video. Uh, like it if you like it. Comment down below what you want to see next. Uh, some reviews, some more um, gear videos, uh, tutorials, whatever. Just let me know. And uh, I hope you have great skies and awesome images in the future.